June 2nd, 2019. Just loading up the battle wagon. Cause today's a silver bastard to be. It's, it's not raining that bad. It's raining a little bit. So we're gonna bring half the cameras we usually use. That way if we ruin half the cameras, we still have the other half to film with. Got my coffee and we're, you know, we're getting ready to do something new. I, I've only silver bass or white bass fished twice. And today the Quinny Bassmaster Club is putting on like a, a fun derby. Basically our first club event of the year. Get everybody together, get everybody to hang out. Afterwards, if this rain continues to not be so bad, they're having a barbecue so it's gonna be a good day all around I'm trying to figure out in between my house and Trenton how am I going to call silver bass I think we may use the tape measure system maybe we need to I, I think a good one's about 15 inches we need to find out how to call because the ounces are gonna make a big big deal here even one ounce may take you from first to third 10 fish limit and we got to figure out how to get the most out of our 10 fish the rain is starting to come down a little harder I'm gonna get in the truck we got to go to a silver bass tournament let's go Fingers crossed it doesn't go as bad as musky fishing yesterday. Stop number two of the morning. The beauty part of this silver bass deal is that you don't need a big bass boat. You don't need to burn a ton of gas. Honestly, there is hardly any gas after yesterday's musky adventure. We're not putting gas in the boat because really all you got to do is idle up and down that Trent River. So, you know, we don't even need the big boat. Silver bass fishing, white bass fishing is something everybody can do. It's super easy. While I drive to Trenton, let me know what the strangest tournament you've ever fished. I've never fished a silver bass tournament in my life. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's there should be more of this stuff. But what's the strangest tournament you've ever fished? Fill the battle wagon up, head east, east to Trenton. Let me know what tournament that was for you. We have made it to Trenton. The goat, the greatest co-angler ever. Second. Second, who's first? I don't know, somebody else. No, man, you are. I don't, I've never met anybody who dances as much as you. You gotta have fun out there. That's if you're not my, dancing, what are you doing? Right? That's right. right. Hey, are you excited about today? Yeah, it have, should be good. Have you seen my partner? Mm, no. Yeah, I haven't seen him either. Old boy. Old boy. Old boy. Old boy. You excited about today? I'm excited, I'm are you, pumped. Are you gonna pound them? I'm gonna follow you. No, you're not. Yeah. Did you watch the vlog? Okay, Pete. Yes, sir. Silver bass or white bass? They are uh, white bass if you gotta look them up in a book, but you can affectionately call them silver bass anytime you like. If we, uh, you're gonna win this today, how big of the do your 10 need to be? You got an Ooh, estimate? Let's go. I would like to see 20 pounds. 16 pounds. 16 pounds. 16 pounds, that's okay. We got it on film. That's it. I'm gonna get 18. Mr. Roth, homie. Hey, buddy. Uncle Greg, how's it going? Good, buddy. How's the tour going down south? Uh, rough one, buddy. Rough one? Yeah, rough one. Lost fish. Can't do that. Hey, are you having fun, though? Absolutely. Okay, bro. You have a good day out there. Bye. I hope you get that. Uh, I think Pete said we need 16 pounds to win. Okay. Dude, you want to be on the vlog? Come here. Hi. I remember when you were just a little one at the fishing show, and now you're all growing up, going fishing. Thanks for being on. How you doing, puppy? That's a good-looking dog you got there, Greg. She's a, she's a doll, buddy. <laughs> Last but What's not up, least, brother? I can't find my partner. Uh, he's over he's here somewhere. He's here? Yeah, he's here. He's We're, here. Are you are you gonna get the 16 pounds to win? I'm gonna get 18 pounds. Nice. That's the way and to shoot get it. Get second. <laughs> That's the way. You got to smack yep. talk, yep. shoot big. We're, we're making and a then, long run and then after the weather clears, and uh, we're gonna go smash them. When you weigh in nine pounds today, you can give me your excuses afterwards. That'll be three fish. Three fish for nine pounds. Yep. They're on in the Salmon River. Have fun today, my man. I will. Okay. I got to get this boat in the water. I'm already late. As usual, we got about 12 minutes before this starts and nobody has their boat in. I'm gonna leave this camera in the truck because it's raining now, but it's supposed to pour. Best of luck to all my homies in the Quinty Bassmasters Club, Silver Bass. Let's do this. We are just waiting for the greatest co-angler of all time, Jesse James himself. Braden, what's going on? Uh, You're my co-angler today? Yeah. You got big shoes to fill? Mm -hmm. How are we gonna win this? We need 16 pounds, Pete says. That's a lot for silver bass fishing, but I think we're gonna get her done. Yeah. Okay, dude. Have a great day. Hey, you got an Instagram? Oh yeah. Braden Shut that out. Mason underscore. Nice and loud. Braden.mason underscore. Check them out. We're gonna catch some fish. 
Let's do this. We've caught so many that we got to do a little column situation. We got to figure this out. 13 seems to be the average. Throw those all out because they're all under 13. We really need some more 14s and 15s. We have for sure a limit of right around 13. Six right around 13. We need some big ones. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention Alright, we got a solid bag, two over 14 inches and the smallest one we have on the live wall is 13 We need another dandy Two more, like 14s or 15s would do the job. You gonna get them? Yeah? Are you that confident? Total sense when you're next to me. went on a topwater mega fair dude how many we like half an hour of just non-stop action on the topwater yeah we have five fish between 13 and 14 inches and five fish over 14 inches so we got a pretty good sack of silver bass yeah we should be doing good dude let's go weigh in let's do this i don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world to me all right dude so i didn't have the microphone on so we got none of the audio for that but we ended up second place and we got big fish so we're getting paid did you have fun today? Oh yeah, I did. Did you? Yep. We were only like, uh, we were, I think we had 11.82 and 11.99 beat us, so we were right there. Yep. Probably would have had a scale and pick through. We would have, uh, could have, might, might have done a little better. Yep. Second place is all right, did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun. Is that the most silver bass you ever caught? Yeah. We destroyed them, eh? Yeah. Okay, dude, thanks for fishing. No problem, thanks for having me. Hey, anytime, man. <laughs> Congratulate Gordon. Oh.
<laughs> All right, we're gonna. This is the second time I've had to do this. Last year at Beaver uh, Lake, the worst lake in Ontario. Somehow you managed to catch a five pounder out of that. You won again. Congratulations, my friend. What's your secret? Jackal lures. Oh, we'll be editing that out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dude, good work. Yeah, Have a great day. Man. We'll awesome. see you at the next one. I'm beating you at the next one. Bro, how'd you do? Not pretty good. Eighth, I heard? Yeah, maybe. Ten. I might have got lucky. Yeah, how much you weigh in? Uh, seven pounds. Yeah. That's not bad for you. Yeah, 11 pounds short of uh, my, my goal. You loving that rock star? It's awesome. All right, man. Big win today. Yeah. Was uh, the rock star what put you guys over the top? Yes, it was. It was? Yes. Are you enjoying that? Oh, I am. It's very good. Congratulations. I hope you all get you as a co-angler in the next event. Okay. Everybody seems to win when they have you. Yeah, they seem to. Yeah, you're a lucky guy. <laughs> home time. <laughs> Made her home this morning. Not an ounce of wind and it rained like crazy. This afternoon, the sun is out, it is shining, but the wind is absolutely insane. Silver bass fishing is one of the funnest things you can do. You're gonna catch a pile of fish. All you need to do is use any bait that looks like a minnow. The two baits that we really smoked them on today, a little twitch minnow is what we got them on in the afternoon. And in the morning, good old swim bait again. Anything that looks like a minnow, get out there, catch some fish on your own. Club fishing is something I wish I would have got into 10 years ago. One of the most asked questions that I get here is how do I get into tournament fishing? Joining an Ontario Bass Nation Club, you don't even need a boat. You, you get hooked up with somebody like me who has a boat, has some knowledge about fishing, and you get out on the water. If you have a boat, you can go and help young people and people who aren't, who are who don't have a big boat get into tournament fishing and share your knowledge it is a great way to meet new people new friends new people to fish with on when there's not club events i can't stress enough go to ontario bass nation just google it up there'll be a club somewhere near you join a club get involved and get out fishing really cool to do silver bass tournament something totally different from the normal so this year the tournaments are going all right third place in the pike tournament second place today now if we can just carry this out into bass season bass season is less than two weeks away i am so excited for that big shout out to rockstar energy canada who hooked all the guys up in the club with the rockstar energy drink super awesome of them to you know help to give fishermen something it's really i i you know i'm really appreciative of the rockstar is helping fear fishing just simply give rockstar energy drinks to fans and when we're out and about fishing sean and mark are out on rice lake right now catching some walleye i'm going to clean out the boat have a shower and spend some much needed time with amber the long two days yesterday's musky adventure didn't go so hot and today we pounded them it is the fishing life follow on instagram always updating the stories and hit hit subscribe hit that bell button and leave a comment let me know what the craziest fishing tournament you've ever fished thank you so much guys the comments on yesterday's video are amazing please help us keep that going follow on instagram stay fishing have fun be a good sport be positive we'll see you soon